Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. Well, according to the Jewish calendar, we are in the days of all. The ten days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And these are the days for introspection, for self-examination, for a slichot, or for asking for forgiveness. In hopes, according to the rabbis, that our names will be written in the Book of Life on Yom Kippur. Uh, that is the hope, according to the rabbis. But we have a more sure and certain hope based upon the scriptures. And it's based upon not our capacity to repent, but on God's capacity to forgive. To, uh, to forgive if we recognize the sacrifice that he has made in the person of Jesus on our behalf. <clears throat> you know, the scriptures refer to sin as a capital offense. It requires, it demands the death penalty. <clears throat> but according to the, the scriptures we believe about Jesus, he is our substitute. He died in our place for us. And because his death is recognized as sufficient sacrifice for our sins, God accepts us. He accepts us on the basis of the sacrifice of Jesus, if we believe that. So it's absolutely critical that we do. And when we do, the scriptures tell us with certainty that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. The Lamb's book of life. We have that assurance. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Those are universal terms. Those are absolute terms based upon what Jesus has done for us. He goes even further in 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. He says, My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defense. Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. He speaks on our defense. He is our defense lawyer, and he's never lost a case. Because he ever lives to make intercession, to pray for us. And believe me, the prayers of Jesus are answered. Hallelujah. So we have a sure and certain word from the word of God that we stand with our names written in the Lamb's book of life because of the forgiveness that God has, gives us. Uh, based upon the sacrifice of Jesus, our substitute. But I think it's, in this day it's, it's equally important, not only for personal for forg uh, forgiveness and repentance, but I think we need to do that nationally. We are in a critical year, a critical election. And uh, the two candidates are mirror images of the, of the decadence, the moral decadence of our culture. There's no question about it. One has used coarse, ungodly terms. The other is an unconvicted uh, felon, guilty of uh, corruption of the highest order in government. <clears throat> but we need to seek God. One writer says, this is not just about Donald Trump and Mike Pence. This is about the destiny and fate of the United States of America, the destiny, the future of the United States of America. This, uh, the Lord sees beyond, Yahweh sees beyond today, and it's time to really seek his heart and his ways. This is really a time of repentance. Yes, repentance. And let me say parenthetically, you know how to do that as a nation? Read Daniel chapter 9 where Daniel identifies himself with the sins of his people, of the nation of Israel, and he confesses those sins. Daniel chapter 9, read it. This is really a time of repentance and seeking forgiveness for America and calling forth the plans and purposes of God in the nation and surrendering our own agendas to align with his ways, even when we don't understand. It's time to stand in the gap more than ever before for a move of God in our nation. I sense that this is a very spiritually strategic mo moment right now. The fate and destiny of the nation hangs in the balance. I agree with that. 
and I think you do too. So let us pray repentantly for God to intervene and show mercy to our nation. Till next week, Ode Ki of Oshilo, or until Messiah comes, Yivareka Yahweh. Yahweh bless you, bless those you love, bless those who love you.